Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this YouTube video gallery from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it works. We can see that there are three videos over here and when we hover over this, we have this hover effect where we have the play icon displayed over here. And we have these three videos over here. By default, the first video is displayed over here. And this is basically a YouTube player. And if I click on this play button, we can see that the YouTube video starts playing. And we can go ahead and access uh, these play controls over here. And uh, we also have the option of watching it on YouTube and all the other options that we have on YouTube are displayed over here. And then we can see that there are other videos over here as well. So if I click on the second video, this is uh, the full video for portfolio website. Now we can see that that video is displayed over here. And if I click on play, the video plays. And then we have the third video. And if I click on that, we have the third video displayed over here and we can play it. So in this way, you can add more videos if you want over here. I'll just show you how to design this uh, layout over here where we have these three videos. And when we click on any of these videos, the video will be displayed over here in the YouTube player. And we can go ahead and play that. And you can also click on this full screen button to view this video in full screen mode. So this is what we're going to design in this tutorial series. And in the first video, I'll show you how to design it. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add the functionality so that when we click on these buttons, we should have the correct YouTube video displayed over here. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called YouTube Video Gallery and I just opened it with VS Code. And here I also have a folder called images and in that we have these thumbnails of the videos and then we have this play icon. So we're going to use these in our design. Right, let's go ahead and start creating the necessary files. So let's create a new file and let's name it index.html and let's create another file and let's name it style.css and let's create one more file for the JavaScript. Let's name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. All right, let's link our CSS file over here. So let's type link and press tab. And in the SR value, just type style or CSS. And in the body, let's link our JavaScript file. So let's type script, colon src. And in the src, I'll just type main.js. All right, now let's start with the markup of our uh, YouTube video gallery. The first thing we will do is we'll create a container division and we'll give it a class of video gallery container. Now in this we need to have this title. So here we can see we have this title over here. So the first thing we will do is add the title. So let's create an H2 and let's give it a class of title. And let's type the title over here. So we have the title best videos on designing. All right, that's it with the title. Now the next thing we need to have is this section over here where we have the video displayed when we click on any of these videos. So we'll just call it featured video. Now for this section and this section, we'll create a container division and let's give it a class of video gallery. And let's create a division with a class of featured video. Now in this division, we will add the YouTube iframe. So let's go to live blogger YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed, you can just subscribe to this channel. And uh, Let's go ahead and get the URL of a video. So the first video is this video right here. So here we can see this is the first video. So let's see how to embed this into our design. So for that you have to go into this video. So let's open this video in a new tab. Right here's the video. Now the next thing you have to do is click on this share button. And then you have to click on embed. And here we can see we have the code to embed this video into our web page. So let's click on this and let's click on copy and let's go back to our VS code and let's add the iframe over here. Now you can go ahead and change the height and the width of this iframe. Just make sure that you're in the correct aspect ratio of the video. This video is in the aspect ratio 16 by 9. All right, then we have the source of the video and uh, then we have the title and we have these uh, options allowed in this iframe. Now below this iframe, we need to have this title. So let's create an S3 for that. And let's give it a class of video title. And here we'll just add the title. So I'll just copy this title from here. I'll just copy it from here. And let's go ahead and paste it over here. All right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. 
and here we can see our design is displayed over here in the browser so we have the title we have the YouTube video and we have the title of the video right now let's design these sections over here these three videos so for that let's go outside this featured video division and let's create a division with a class of all videos now in this for each of the video let's create a division with a class of video so let's tap video now in this we need to have the thumbnail of the video so let's create an IMG tag and in the IMG tag let's add the source of the image so we have the images inside the images folder and in that we have the thumbnail 1.jpg, 2.jpg and 3.jpg so in the src let's type images forward slash thumbnail 1.jpeg and this is the first thumbnail and we also need to have this play icon on top of the thumbnails so let's add that as well so here after the image let's create a division with the class of play icon and in that let's add an img and here I'll just type images forward slash play icon dot png now we have two images over here we have the play icon image and also the thumbnail so let's add a class for the thumbnail image so that we can style it in the CSS so let's give it a class of thumbnail right now let's copy this video division and let's paste it two more times and the second video has a thumbnail of thumbnail 2.jpg and then we have thumbnail 3.jpg right that's basically it with the HTML of our design so let's go back to our browser and this is how it looks right now we have the thumbnails of the images over here we need to style everything to make it look better so let's go ahead and do that here we have already linked our style.css file so let's go to our style.css file and let's start styling this the first thing we will do is style the video gallery container which is the container division so we have this class video gallery container so let's type video gallery container and we will set a width of 900 pixels and we'll set the font family to Roboto and sans serif we'll also add a background color of FFD166 and uh, we'll also set a padding to the top so let's tap padding of 8 pixels and 0, 0, 0 for left right and bottom and let's go back to our browser and here we can see this is the video gallery container let's also bring this to the center so let's type margin and 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right now it is exactly in the center let's also set the box sizing to border box so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements so let's type video gallery container and video gallery container asterisk for selecting all the elements and let's type box sizing border box right now the next thing we will do is we will style this title right here so let's type video gallery container h2 dot title and first of all let's align it to the center so let's type text align center and uh, let's set the font weight to 300 and we'll set the text transform to uppercase and let's set the font size to 34 pixels and we'll also add a margin bottom of 24 pixels right now let's style the video gallery division which is this division right here where we have the featured video and all videos so let's type video gallery container and uh, we have a division with a class of video gallery so let's type video gallery and the first thing we will do is we will set the display to flex so that both these elements are one next to the other we want the featured video division on the left and the all videos division on the right so let's type display of flex and we'll also add a background color so let's type background and let's set the background color to 02151E and let's also add some padding so let's type padding of 16 pixels and for the top we will have some more padding so let's type padding top and let's set it to 24 pixels and we'll also have some gap between these elements so let's type gap and let's set the gap to 24 pixels and we'll also set the color of the text to white so let's type color of white right now let's style this title so for the title we have this s3 with the class of video title so let's type 
video gallery s3 with the class of video title and let's set the line height to 1.6 and uh, we'll set the font weight to 700 and we'll also set the font size to 24 pixels I think we can decrease the font size a little bit so let's set it to 20 pixels and I think that looks alright all right, now let's style all these thumbnail images so for the thumbnail images we have img tags with a class of thumbnail so let's target these here I'll just type video gallery thumbnail and uh, let's set the height of the thumbnail to 120 pixels and we'll also set the cursor to pointer and here we can see all the thumbnails are displayed over here and we'll also bring everything to the center so here in the video gallery let's type justify content center now here we can see that the width of this title is more than this uh, video so if you go back to the HTML here we can see for the iframe we have a width of 560 pixels so let's add a width of 560 pixels to the title so let's go to our style or CSS file and here in the video title let's type width of 560 pixels and now we can see it looks alright now let's style this play icon so that it is on top of these thumbnail images and for that we need to set the position of this play icon relative to this uh, video division over here so if you go back to the HTML here we can see we have this division with the class of video and in that we have the thumbnail and also the play icon so we'll set the position of the play icon relative to this video so let's target the video so let's type video gallery video and we'll set the position to relative and now let's target the play icon so for that we have a division with the class of play icon so let's type video gallery play icon and let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the top position to 50% and the left position to 50% and now we can see it starts from the center now we want it to be positioned exactly in the center so for that we have to type transform translate and we have to set it to negative 50% for the x and the y axis and now we can see it is exactly in the center and uh, we'll also decrease the size of this image so let's target the image so let's type video gallery video img and let's set the height to 50 pixels and also the width to 50 pixels and here we can see that the height and the width of all the images have changed so we have to target the specific play icon image so let's type play icon over here right now we can see we have the correct height and width now when you hover over this we don't have the cursor so what we'll do is we'll just remove the pointer events from this play icon so here let's type pointer events and let's set it to none and now if you hover over this we can see that it doesn't affect our mouse pointer right now the last thing we need to do is we need to show these play icons only when we hover over these uh, video divisions over here so here we can see it is only displayed when we hover over these thumbnails and uh, we also have some gap between these uh, videos so let's add that gap as well so if you go back to our HTML file here we can see we have this division with the class of all videos so let's target that here I'll just tap video gallery all videos and let's set the display to flex and we'll set the flex direction to column and we'll also add a gap of 8 pixels right now let's add the hover effect so we need to add the hover effect to the video division so this is the video division so it is inside these all videos division so let's type video gallery video colon hover and when we hover over this we need to add the styles to the play icon so let's type play icon and here by default for the play icon let's set the opacity to 0 and we'll also add a transition so that we have smooth animation so let's set a transition of opacity 400 milliseconds ease and here for the play icon let's type opacity and let's set it back to 1 now let's hover over these uh, videos and we don't have the transition being added that's because we have a typo over here we need to type transition Right now we can see everything looks alright 
So that's basically it with the design of our YouTube gallery. In the next video, I'll show you how to add the functionality so that when we click on these thumbnails, you need to display those videos over here. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.